Traditional Chinese medicine has its own secrets. Now let me unravel these mysteries. In our daily life, many of us are fubbers. Why saying so? While working, we always bend over at desks or watch the computer. In some other cases, such as writing something for a meeting, our upper bodies always lean forward with our heads down. Or when we go home, usually we still stare at the phones, which also means we're heading down. Therefore, we keep such a head down state for a long time. In fact, this will block our qi and blood flow in our neck. All the qi and blood are always kept inside without good functioning. So, to deal with it, I would like to teach everybody a way of exercise. We call this exercise the neck exercise. Open your legs to the shoulder width with both hands on your hips. Place your thumb facing back with other four fingers facing forward. Then lead up your head, keep your torso upright. The first move of the neck exercise Turn your head left horizontally. Look left. Pause a little bit. Then turn right horizontally. Look right at your body. And feel the retraction. Brought by this move to your neck. Then return your head to the left. Return to the right. Return. Next, let us practice the move of bending left and bending right. Try your best to make your left ear approach your left shoulder. The left ear is near the left shoulder. Pause a little bit. Then do the opposite direction. Make your right ear approach your right shoulder with your eyes always looking forward. left right pause a little bit feel the retraction of your left cervical return to normal then stretch forward your lower jaw as much as possible and make your lower jaw touch down lower your head and move your jaw forward Pull up. This is the black and forth move. Let's do it again. Forward. Backward. Return. Just now we have checked the left and right move. Then check the right and left bending. Then the forward and backward move. After we finish these, make our hands turn forward, then left, back, right. Let's make a circle with our neck. Reverse, right, back, left, forward, right, back, left, Forward. It's great that you can do it three to five times. Then return. Stretch your hands. Lay your hands on your body sides. What we just finished is the neck exercise, which can be divided into four little steps. Left and right turning. Left and right bending. Forward and backward learning. Then there is forward, backward, left and right turning. During the process of the above moves, the key point is as follows, because each move is simple enough, so make sure to make your best efforts to let each move reach its ultimate stretch position, meaning your body reaches the limits. You cannot stretch and bend anymore. Try to approach that limit position and keep for a short while. At that limit position, feel the effects and stress brought by the move to your body, because we tend to lower heads in daily life, so our head motion Muscle activity, muscle contraction and relaxation are all asymmetrical. So through doing the exercise which is symmetrical, both in left hand and back forward directions, such kind of exercises can give your cervical muscles a great stress relief.